The blood of the holy martyrs was poured out for Christ upon the earth. Therefore, they have gained everlasting rewards. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, today's Mass is offered for Gladys Luna. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have been pleased to increase your adopted children in all the world, and who have made the blood of the martyrs, St. Andrew Kim Taigon, and his companions, a most fruitful seed for Christians, grant that we may be defended by their help and profit always from their example. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading, the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, I am writing you, although I hope to visit you soon, but if I should be delayed, you should know how to behave in the household of God, which is the church of the living God, the pillar and foundation of truth. undefiably great in the mysteries of devotion, who was manifested in the flesh, vindicated in the spirit, seen by angels, proclaimed to the Gentiles, believed in throughout the world, take up in glory. The word of the Lord. The responsorial psalm is how great are the works of the Lord. How great are the works of the Lord. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. How great works of the Lord. Majesty of glory are his works, and his justice endures forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Graciously and merciful is the Lord. How great are your works, O Lord. He has given food to those who fear him. He has forever be mindful of his covenant. He has made known to his people the power of his works, giving them the inheritance of the nations. How great are the works of the Lord.
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, to what shall I compare the people of this generation? What are they like? They are like children who sit in the marketplace and call to one another. We played the flute for you, but you did not dance. We sang a dirge, but you did not weep. For John the Baptist came neither eating food nor drinking wine, and you said, he is possessed by a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and you said, look, he is a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is vindicated by all her children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Happy feast day for the for the Korean martyrs. It's easy for us to think if we look think to way back when, during Christ's time, in the early Christian church, the early Christians that time. that they had many amazing signs that they witnessed, awesome wonders that they saw. And we might think, if we just had those experiences, maybe our faith would be stronger. Maybe we have more people coming back to the Catholic Church. But they had the same problem Back then, Jesus is telling the, the people, the crowds, he's showing them that there are amazing things happening, but people don't believe. All these things are happening around us and around them. We tend to be very, stu very stubborn. The people of the church then and, and now. We have many new martyrs of the church and in the gospel. Oh, and, and Uganda, the Ugandan martyrs, for example, uh, more recent history. We, so we do have martyrs still. Uh, and today we, we remember the martyrs from the Korean martyrs. who give us reason to celebrate today and remember their sacrifice. If we study the number of martyrs from the early church compared to the number of martyrs now, we have so many more martyrs today compared to way back then, even though we might think the opposite. We really have more now. So many amazing wonders and signs happening all around us that we miss out on, we overlook. The first reading today, St. Paul is telling us that there's believers all over the earth, 
all around the earth. And there's more truth now than compared to even back then. Recently, we have more, we have more and more believers throughout the entire world. More and more people believing. More Catholics now compared to any other time in history. And there's more priests and, and sisters now compared to, again, any other point in history. We tend to see, you know, the, the, the worst of things, right? We just have a very provincial, local perspective on the world, and that's as far as we see. We don't see the bigger picture often. God sees all. If we see the world now from his perspective, the way God sees us, the way God sees the world, the way he sees the church, compared to any other point in history, we would see that this is the most successful time there's ever been for the Catholic Church. In Lisbon, Portugal, where we recently had World Youth Day, 1.5 million young people converged on that town to see the Pope. We see our church now. We see members from Uganda, many new members from Uganda, joining the faith, joining the church. It's a very international event. Very impressive. God God shows us now he emphasizes the important the amazing things that are happening. He's showing us amazing things. Those things that help us to believe. If people can see those things, they will join us in the church. But if they stay stuck in their discontent and their stubbornness and willingly overlooking all the wonderful things God gives us, like what Jesus communicate, talking to the crowds, addressing the crowds in what we heard this morning, those people will simply not believe. The problem is not with God. It's our hearts and our, ten our tendencies to be stubborn and blind to the wonders he provides us. Let us pray. the Pope's monthly intentions that those persons living on the margins of society in inhumane and life conditions may not be overlooked by institutions and never considered of lesser importance. Let us pray to the Lord. For Bishop Sean, that his advisors be filled with wisdom and his flock with a spirit of compassion. We pray to the Lord. For Father Sean's safe travels, we pray to the Lord. For Father Charles Tyranny, a son of St. Jude's parishioners, on his golden jubilee, that he may be filled with every grace and blessing. We pray to the Lord. For all who are sick and in distress in any way, especially those listed in the bulletin, we pray to the Lord. And for the repose of the souls of the faithful departed, we pray to the Lord. And we remember Gladys Luna, for whom this Mass is being celebrated. 
We pray to the Lord. Almighty ever living God, we pray with confidence. For though we know our own prayers are weak, we join them with the prayers of St. Jude, St. Joseph, and especially with the perfect prayers of the blessed ever Virgin Mary, through Christ our Lord, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look with favor, Almighty God, on the offerings of your people and through the intercession of the blessed martyrs, grant that we ourselves may become a sacrifice accepting to you for the salvation of all the world. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You're indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray. 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Cardinal Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Everyone who acknowledges me before others, I will acknowledge before my heavenly Father, says the Lord.
let us pray. Nourished with the food of the valiant as we celebrate the blessed Mahdas, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that clinging faithfully to Christ, we may labor in the church for the salvation of all. Through Christ our Lord, amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Dina to St. Jude. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. O glorious Apostle St. Jude Thaddeus, true relative of Jesus and Mary, I salute you through the most sacred heart of Jesus. Through this heart, I praise and thank God for all the graces he has bestowed upon you. Humbly prostrate before you, I implore you through this heart to look down on me with compassion. Despise not my poor prayer. Let not my trust be confirmed. To you, God, has granted the privilege of aiding mankind in the most difficult cases. O oh, come to my aid, that I may praise the mercies of God. In all my life I will be grateful to you and will be your faithful client until I can thank you in heaven. Blessed Apostle, with confidence we invoke you. St. Jude, help of those in difficulties, aid us. St. Jude, those in difficulties, aid us. Pray for us that we, before death, we may expiate all of our sins by sincere repentance and worthy reception of the Holy Sacrament. Pray for us that we may appease the divine justice and obtain a favorable judgment. Pray for us that we may be admitted to the company of the blessed to rejoice in the presence of our God forevermore. Most holy apostle St. Jude Thaddeus, faithful friend of Jesus, the name of the traitor who delivered our beloved master into the hands of his enemy, has caused you to be forgotten by many. But the church honors and invokes you universally as the patron of difficult cases. Pray for me, make use, I implore you, of the particular privileges according to you to bring visible and speedy help where there is almost despair. Come to my assistance in this great need that I may receive the consolation and aid of heaven in all my necessities, tribulations, and suffering, particularly. And that I may bless God with you and all the elect throughout eternity. I promise you, O blessed Jude, to be ever mindful of this great favor, and I will never cease to honor you as my special and powerful patron, and to do all in my power to encourage devotion to you. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit.
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. St. Jude Thaddeus, pray for us and all who invoke your aid 